adults will not scam. But mine is not a scam in Jesus' name. <laughs> Send it Life update, you guys. So, yes. So, there's been a lot going on in life, especially in the last two months, August and September. So there's been a lot going on, and I just decided I think this would be a good time to like talk about in a few things in life. Um, adulting has been adulting, like adulthood not scam, but mine is not a scam in Jesus' name. <laughs> But yeah, so a few things have been um, happening. One of it was I was on holiday in August. But before we speak about the holiday, um, by now, Sit with Sandra episodes will be done and over by now. So we are done and I'm so excited about Sit with Sandra. Like, it's not easy. It's not every day that you get to do that. Like, that was just an idea that I got one day. I was like, okay, this would be a good idea. I thought I would just have like a, say, five minutes not five minutes sorry more like five people episode tops or maybe three people i don't really think it would be like a whole season it was a really good one and again this is just a special shout out to all the people who were my guests i said to sandra every single person like thank you so much it was so good it felt really really good to be able to put that out there and i hope that we're able to have more conversations around mental health Speaking of which, Mental Health Day is on the 10th of October, so put that in your calendar now, you can do something about it. Um, yeah, that's on Sit with Sandra. Also, my camera woman, Linda, she made a few recordings for me um, on Sit with Sandra. I can't remember which of the episodes. Yeah, I think the two episodes are Lakey Conservation. Yeah, she made those videos. So thank you so much, my girl. You rock. Um, what else has been going on? So I was on holiday for like the better part of August. I was on holiday. Um, I also had my birthday, um, but yeah, just to chill, have fun, rest before you know work starts again. Yeah, I had a good time. I went home for the holiday, so it was really really nice getting to reconnect with family, reconnect with friends. Um, you know, just being at home and being in the quiet and out of Lagos environment, all the noise in Lagos and things like that. It was really really nice to be in a quiet space. So, so yeah, there's something else going on that I don't quite like. So I have very few friends, right? And some of my like really close friends, people I really talk to, we're not doing long distance friendships. And it's not gelling for me anymore, you know? Like before you know what's happening, all of your friendships are jackpot, you know? So that's kind of like a bit of a worry and not necessarily a worry, but it's just one of those things that has been happening. And it felt really, it's quite sad you know <laughs> it's quite sad but all in all i'm happy for them really really excited for all of my friends that have left the country i'm happy for you okay um but i just wish we did not have to do like a long distance friendship it's just uh please you know i hope that this distance has nothing on our friendship all right which also that being said among friendships i know um you know, there are also a couple of friendships that have been lost in the sense that not like they moved to the country or they died or anything like that. No, the friendship just, you know, just and that's it. So it's one of those things in life. And for a second, I remember one of those friendships, I was really finding it difficult to actually wrap my head around it. It was quite difficult for me because this is somebody that I truly cared about, I truly care about. And it just did not sit right with me. There was just a lot of things that was going on and somehow the friendship just went a certain way. And I'm not going to obviously I'm obviously not going to talk about all the details of the friendships and how it we went sour here, but I just wanted to let us know, like it took me a second to actually realise that you know what, it's fine. Um, I don't have to beat myself up about losing this friendship as much as it was important to me, but still, um, it's gone and it's gone. There is no need, you know. Um, by the way, I tried to fight, I tried to speak about it, we spoke over and over again, but the friendship just was not, it wasn't going in the direction that we had expected it to go. And yeah, so to friendships, in case you're telling me to like your friendship hurts or you're struggling with friendships and all of those things, just remember that I understand and you're not alone, but sometimes friendships end. And you don't have to like beat yourself up about it you don't have to keep sulking about it for so long if you want to feel sad about it it's okay because i felt sad for like my whole be birthday week um and even a few days after that it was really really sad because that was the, uh, about the time that this happened 
it was really 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 sad but then i was just like you know what it's fine um people move on we have grow friendships so remember that you can't have grow friendships and it's okay there's no need to force things if it's not going if it's not working and if that friendship is not working out for you it's okay to just let it go you know um but yeah, that's on friendships, losing friendships, people jack by in everywhere and, <laughs> and all of that. So yes, that's for that. Um, so something else that has also been going on is my church. Oh my God, my church has been so, so good this past few months. So it's been really, really amazing. And, you know, the whole community, I really love my church members and I really, really love my church. <laughs> But yeah, maybe another video we'll talk separately about my church. But for this video, just a quick shout out to my church. You guys rock. You are amazing. Our IKEA is home. Another thing that has been happening is Side Bubble Foundation, my NGO. So in case you do not know or this is your first time coming across my YouTube channel, I have a not-for-profit organization here in Lagos, Nigeria. And it's called Side Bubble Foundation. So it's a mental health organization that is providing free mental health care to Nigerians everywhere, home and abroad. All right. We also have people who are not Nigerians reach out, but yeah, our main audience is our main audience is Nigerians. Yes. Yes. Okay. So with Tag Bubble, there's a project we've been on for this whole year. It's about going to orphanage homes and speaking to these children. So we have a whole curricula that was developed for this particular project where we go to the orphanage homes. Um, be with them. So it's not one of those one of visits where you just go one day talk about mental health and they disappear. So we've been with this particular orphanage since the beginning of the year and we are slowly rounding up and my heart cannot, like, <laughs> every time I think about the fact that we have to like by December this whole project is done. Obviously we'll still like visit and do follow up visit but we won't visit as regular anymore. It just makes my heart kind of like feel sad a bit because I've grown so close to these kids and I absolutely adore them. Like I absolutely, absolutely adore these kids. Um, some of the things that have been in the curriculum um, is um, pro-social skills, assertiveness, um, going back to school, bullying, violence at school, um, sexual education. Most important one, which is individual therapy and also like group therapy. But the kids started individual therapy um, in the month of April, I believe. Yes, I think they started like individual therapy in April. So since April, um, we've been having like one-on-one -on -one therapy sessions with these um, children. So, and it's been beautiful. It's been really, really amazing. And I'm just so thankful to every volunteer outside Babu. Like you guys are actually the backbone of this pro project. Um, you've made this work. And thank you. Thank you so much for believing in this dream and continuing to um, volunteer your time, energy, and your skill. I really appreciate you guys. Okay, the only other thing that I can think of right now is creating. So since I shot all of um, City Tandra episodes in July and August, right, the end part of August. So July, August, that was when I shot all of the episodes of City Tandra. So I've been releasing them all this back to back because I wanted to enjoy my holiday. <laughs> but yeah, um, that was that. And since then. Because I've been releasing this episode like back to back, I haven't shot any content. I'm going to be really honest with you guys. This is the first content I'm shooting since August, I think early August thereabout. And I've just been like, Ugh, I don't really have the strength. I don't want to. Plus, work has been ridiculously like. Choke. But yeah, so I've just been a little bit um, not much of a creative anymore. So I'm not talking just in terms of like creating content for YouTube, um, even on my personal page, my therapy page, I haven't been creating content and I just realized, yeah, I think my most, so I came across a video on some of my pictures from 2019 and it dawned on me how creative I was in like taking pictures in 2019, like some of my pictures were so beautiful, I'll attach some of them possibly right now, I don't know, but I'll attach some of the pictures that you can see and see how beautiful these pictures are. And I don't think I've created anything like that since then, all right? But um, I'm easing into it, at least I made this video. Only God knows when I would sit to edit it and post it, but I made this video and I'm happy. So I'm only going to start taking it one step at a time, okay? So yeah, I think that will be all in this video. But you guys remember just a few things that I wanted to like make a recap on. Remember that 
people would come into your life, people would leave, and it doesn't don't shut the door to like new experiences, new people, because you just experience beautiful and amazing people as well. I've met really um, beautiful people in the last few weeks, and it's just amazing. Like. It's just amazing, right? Sometimes we are so focused on you know a particular circle of friendship that we have, or just rather being your friendship zone than you know actually exploring other friendships and seeing that there are over seven billion people in this world. <laughs> All right, but yeah, um, that has been great. Uh, remember, people could leave, people would come into your life, and also remember that when people are leaving, it just means that maybe it is their time to leave. Um, it's you know that's where the journey ends for you guys there's no need to be sour about it it's okay to like not hold it to your chest so much it's okay to feel the hurt it's okay to you know process that hurt and then move on it's okay to move on again thank you so much for always watching my videos all i think there's been like 30 something people that have been really really constant in watching these city sandra episodes and i'm so thankful and it's completely okay if you are not a fan of the Sit with Sandra episode. So now we're coming back to regular programming, hopefully, and we'll see how that goes. Please do not forget to like this video, subscribe, share, comment, comment for me what has been going on in your life in the last uh, month, um, what are some amazing things that have been happening in your life. Um, yeah, all of those things. Just leave me comments. Please subscribe, share to your friends, share to your family members, everybody. Let them subscribe. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps to grow this channel. I'm trying to really grow this channel. So in case you did not know, now is a good time to know and to go and subscribe. Go and subscribe. <laughs> Alright you guys. Bye.